Today we're continuing the uh, Conwin series with Conwin 3, adding a list box and control interaction. And in a lot of ways it's very similar to the last one in that we're using the same properties. Uh, we're using location with its X and Y field to locate where the list box is on the form. We're using size with its width and height property to indicate how big the list box is. <coughs> I don't think we're using a text property. I actually had to delete that. We are using the font property and we're not only using the same fields, font family, font size, with an F suffix indicating that it's a floating point literal, uh, font style, and uh, graphics unit, uh, you know, in this case point using point graphics unit. Uh, we're not only using the same fields but we're using the same values because we want the list box and the button to be sort of the same style. And uh, one thing that we're adding is the tab index of the form, the tab index uh, property of the form because now it has some meaning. We have two controls so we can have a tab index 1 and a tab index 2 indicating what you should tab to first and second when you run the form. And one thing that's changed in the previous one we did controls.add and just added the uh, button control. Uh, now that we have more than one control we're using controls.add range and we're creating a new array of controls. The control square bracket square bracket is an array and we have an initializer list with both the list box and the button in it. So if we go onto our DOS box, once again we just have the same program, comwin.cs with the added code. So if I type NPP for uh, uh, notepad plus plus and then I highlight this and press enter to copy it into the clipboard and right click to copy it from the paste to paste it from the clipboard and hit enter we can look at the code and much of it's the same code it was previously the uh, we have the button uh, add we have private variables for button and list box and my button and my list box and then we have the button created via new button standard class instantiation but now we have my list box uh, created via new list box and we set the location property to point 10 comma 10 so in terms of where it's located on the client space it'd be 10 over to the X and 10 down on the Y. And we set the name of the list box, which actually is a new property, I should have put that in the list, to my list box. We didn't really need a name of the button, but we do need a name of the, the list box. And the list box size is 550 by 200 and the list box tab index is 2. We set the button tab index to 1. And then we have the same uh, font properties that we had in, for the button. Microsoft Sans Serif Family 14.25F font size and in terms of the graphics unit this is a point size. A point is basically there's 72 points in an inch so this is uh, 14 over 72 of an inch high and the font style is regular again and as I said we add the control ra controls dot add range rather than controls dot add and rather than just having one object in the parentheses we create an array of control objects and set that array of control objects via an initializer list to both the list box and the button. And if we go down to the main code, we once again instantiate the window uh, with a, 
object uh, instantiation of new win. So this class gets instantiated and the constructor we're just looking at gets called. And then we show the window with a show dialog. And we showed previously that we added the uh, button event handler via the plus equal. Uh, and the standard way of adding delicate delegates and events. But this time in the um, button click, we referenced the uh, list box by the name we gave it, my list box, dot items dot add. And then we add a string to the list box every time the button is clicked. So if we close this out and then go down and type CSC for the C compiler and right click to uh, put that and paste that from the clipboard and hit enter. It compiled and then we can do right click again and get rid of the .cs to run it. And here we see the list box positioned and sized the way we set it and the button which actually has been repositioned although not resized. And if we press the push me you see the line appears in the list box. If we press it again, the lines continue to be added. If we keep going far enough, a scroll bar appears in the list box. So it works in a standard way, even though it's created from the console rather than the IDE. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, lesson and learned a lot. And don't forget to subscribe.